Hi, everybody. So we're we're here today with Linda Passman and, and Elaine Ewing, and we're going to be talking to Linda. Linda was a, a student of, of Joe's for quite a few years and at the studio. And I think even after Joe passed, you met, you were there for a while, I believe, as well. So you were there for a period of time. So um, I'm just going to ask you to introduce yourself and let everybody know, like, you know, who you are, what your history is, and then we'll 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 just keep going until we're done. Okay. Um, my name is Linda Passman. I um, <clears throat> I live in Chapel Hill, North Carolina now, and visit the Poe and the Berkshires in the summer. But I'm back in Chapel Hill. Um, I worked with Joe. Um, I went to the Pilates studio on Eighth Avenue. Um, I started going right after my son was born, which was in May, 1963. And, um, and I worked at the studio until I started teaching full time, which was 1973. So at the end of that, I was just working with Clara and Hannah. I wasn't, Joe had passed away. Okay. Wow. Yeah. So it was 10 years. Yeah. And then was it, do you remember, was it like once a week, twice a week? It was once a week because okay. I lived in Westchester and I had to drive in. And mm -hmm. I remember 57th Street was two ways then. And you can make a left turn or a right turn. And I used to park sometimes right on 8th Avenue and sometimes on 57th Street and then walk down mm -hmm. to, uh, his studio. Wow. And now, um, do you, can you tell us a little bit of like, do you remember the first time that you went or the first couple times? Oh, I do. The first time. <laughs> that I went with a friend. Um, who had already been working with Joe. And um, actually I had two friends who had been working with him. And um, I drove in, we very often, certainly the first few years, we drove in together. Um, I remember finding the building and walking up these rickety <laughs> stairs in this old brownstone. And, and I remember the cooking odors in the wood, which is was so typical of those old buildings, mm -hmm. and um, came up to the landing, went into the studio. Um, Joe was there. He had me sit in a chair, and he just wanted me to watch. He just said, watch. He didn't say much, actually. Mm -hmm. you know, just, just, he had me sit down. But then I sat down, and I was sitting the wrong way. <laughs> I don't know. I wasn't. I either was slumped or I mean, I and my legs weren't. I don't know. So he came over and he straightened me out and pushed me around a little. <laughs> and um, and I watched. <laughs> wow! Like for the whole time. I watched. I, you know, I can't remember. I think I began to work, but I watched for a. A good long time. I had everybody who went there had a, a three by five inch card, and um, it, and there was a little file where your name, you know, you you were you found yourself in the alphabet. Your name was there, and a little envelope, and you put your money in that envelope. Mm -hmm. And um, <clears throat> can't remember if I did it the first time, but I. I remember always the first thing you did was walk in and you went over to the file and you put your money in the envelope. Okay. And then mm -hmm. you went to the reformer. And, that's and then, so that's what you would do. You would go to the reformer first when you did your workout. Cool. And then did you do any, did you do just reformer or did you do mat or other apparatus? Well, what was I did a lot. All the other apparatus, I just go from the reformer and the Cadillac and the different chairs, you know, the, the chair where you push your heels down and then that barrel. <laughs> I think I told you this time. The barrel that you went over when you had to do, you were doing like a handstand. Yes. Was facing 
it was facing 8th Avenue and these huge windows. And I was always afraid if I really went up and I lost my balance, I'd just fly out on it. <laughs> I always I, I, I've made that a comment a few times when you look at the pictures, because it's like, it's right next to the window. It's right there. <laughs> it's attached well, that makes sure that you keep your form. You know, it's attached <laughs> to the wall there and to the window frame, you couldn't even move it. So it was stuck. <laughs> really? Yeah. I, you know, it was a very small space. Every single inch was used. Mm -hmm. And so to get in to the, the dressing room where you mm -hmm. would, you know, put things in the locker, you had to walk in this very narrow space. And if somebody was on a mat, you almost stepped on them. <laughs> you had to be careful. Yeah. Every inch of space was used. Mm -hmm. Yep. I can see that in the pictures. Yep. Do you remember particular exercises? Like, did you have favorite exercises or do you remember anything particular about what you did? Well, I, there was all the standard st stuff, pushing the reformer out and everything. I remember I loved, I wish I could do it. <laughs> I loved doing that swan dive where I was on the box on the reformer and holding on to um, the straps. Mm -hmm. and, and, oh. I, and, and I was really, I could arch. Oh my God. I love I that too. 20s. I was in my early 20s. So yes. I was so elastic. I can't do that. <laughs> That's one of my favorites too. I know. I, you feel like you're going to fly and you yeah. really build those muscles. You have. You know, you just feel you're soaring. It's really fun. Yeah, yeah, it's really, really great. Now I did do mat work, but I don't think I even did it every time. Mm -hmm. um, always, but I remember so clearly spine stretched forward and Clara coming up behind me, putting her hands, because you, you were supposed to, you know, move from the lower back and really, mm -hmm. and she, she was this teeny little thing. <laughs> she was like an Olympic weightlifter or something. She was so strong. And I was afraid she was gonna break me in half. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I learned it. I <laughs> That's right, that's right. That's so, really interesting. I love the seal, because I, I love clapping. And you cool. Clap. I have a question for you. Did you clap both places, front and back, or just? Oh in yeah, the three times. Uh, and did he cool. make a mark like a seal? Yes. <laughs> and Joe always made it. He made noises, or he talked about animals all the time. So he used to say, I mean, if I was sitting somewhere or I was, you know, in a certain place and something was wrong, he said, "Bears don't do that." <laughs> about bears and um he, you know he wanted you to extend but he he barked like a seal and he would evoke animals he would mention animals mm -hmm. that's really neat he was 